I'm Cheryl. Welcome to Retro Planner Co. In today's video, I want to share a tutorial on how to add links um, for text and images in GoodNotes 6. Um, this is really helpful for like if you Franken plan and you use a bunch of different planners, but you want to have a way to kind of link them all together. This is perfect, perfect way to Franken plan. Um, also, you can create like dashboard spreads and link images on those to different planners or different pages in your planner. So it's a really fun and um, neat feature of GoodNotes 6 that a lot of people don't even know about. So, so say I'm in like my April spread and I want to link my weekly to its own budget page. Like all these icons right up here are already linked, but I want this to link to a specific page within this planner. Um, the way to do that, I'm going to go ahead and use a text link to do that. But first, I'm going to find the page, um, the number of the page that I want to link to. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the budget. It's a built in template that I'm going to use for this one, um, the monthly budget. And I want to use April's. So I want to use this page. I'm going to link this page to my April planner. So first, I need to find out what page this is. I'm just going to swipe and find out. As long as you have your page numbers turned on, um, you can do this. So to set it up where your page numbers show, you just click on these three dots right here and then you can change it in there, make sure it's showing. I think by default, it probably does. So again, I'm on page 510. This is the page that I want to link um, in April. So I'm gonna go back to my April spread and I'm going to type on my text tool, tap and I'm gonna type budget. If you just tap on it to select it, then you can go to this extender arrow and click add link and you can link to a document or a website so if you have an external website um, like you go to a site for recipes you can easily link that in your planner and go there whenever you need to um, or document either existing pages in a document or um, other documents in your GoodNotes library so I'm just going to go ahead and leave it on document and I'm going to stay in this document, but otherwise, if you click on that, you can choose from the different documents in your library. So we're going to do that a little bit later. Um, and for page, we're going to click on the page. And this is why it's helpful to know which page you are going to link to, because a lot of planners like mine have a lot of pages. So you are going to find page 510 or whatever page you want to link to. And then click on that. Okay, so it's going to go ahead and link to page 510. You'll know it's linked because a line comes up underneath it. You can always go back in, remove the link, change the link, whatever you want to do. So this is done. I'm going to drag it around. I'm going to move it. I'm just going to add it right in here. And then when I go into my hyperlink mode, I can just tap on it and it takes me right to my April budget page. So that is really, really handy. Say you don't want the text like you don't like the, the text kind of cluttering up your page you can also do this with icon stickers image stickers um, any of that you can use like any any clip art or any images you want so to do that I'm gonna go ahead and open up my essential icons and for budget I'm just gonna use the um, the calculator here so I'm gonna copy and paste this over And now I'm going to add a link to this. So the way to do that, it's still the same process, but you're basically just adding invisible text. <laughs> you're just going to add spaces um, or dummy text just to fill a space so that you can click on that and it'll open up your budget page. So I'm just going to type on my text tool again. I'm just going to tap to type, but this time instead, I'm just going to drag it open a little bit more, make it bigger. Um, and I'm also going to make my text size a little larger so my box is bigger. And then I'm just going to add spaces in here, which doesn't look like it's doing anything, but I promise it is. So when you're tapped on the box, you can, again, you might have to tap off of it and tap back on. Go to that extender, click add link. And again, we're going to page 510. We just have to find it. I scrolled a little bit too fast. So 510, I'm not even gonna wait for it to pop up. I'm just gonna click on it, opens it up. So now it's in there. I move this and I'm gonna resize it and get it right over top of my calculator. And you tap off and it just disappears. 
to, and then you can test to see that it's working. So go back into your links, tap, and you're taken right to your budget page. So this is a great way to add links to icons, to add links to um, using text on your spreads. And then you can actually save these, um, this whole thing right here as an element and then just, or copy and paste it onto your other pages. So you'll always have that link and you don't have to repeat the process every time. So the other thing I wanted to show you is the dashboard layout. There's been a bunch of people in the um, Retro Planner Co. Facebook group that love to Franken plan. And they've made like individual planner dashboards with different images, realistic stickers, whatever. And you can even do it on top of this existing cover page. Um, and then you can link those to different, either different pages within a that planner or different documents, templates, pages in other planners, websites. I mean, the possibilities are really endless. Um, so I wanted to show you just a quick and easy way to do that. So what I did, I went ahead and created a, um, actually I'll show you two, two ways real fast to do that. I created a planner dashboard in Canva. So I'm gonna open that up. I'm just gonna go to split view. I'm gonna find it in my um, files. I saved it as both a PDF and a PNG. And I did that for two reasons. So I'll show you why, but you only need one or the other. A PDF, if you want to use it on its own in GoodNotes and just have it kind of in your folders um, or add it in as a template behind any other page in your planner or in front of any page in your planner. Or you can use the PNG to um, just use as an overlay and put it over top and then link it all out from there. So I'm going to go ahead and find, this is my planner dashboard that I made. Uh, which one of these are the PNG? I think this is the actual PNG. So I'm just going to drag it over, release it, close this out. So here's my PNG. I'm going to use my image tool, click it, and then I'm going to resize it just to fit this spread. And I kind of sized it pretty good. Fits pretty well over top of that one. So my planner cover is still there. I can delete this anytime I want, but now I have a planner dashboard. So I'm just going to click my lasso tool to kind of put it in place. So now I can use that same linking hack for images with the invisible, just the spaces, and I can link this out to whatever I want. So it's actually best to do this. I just overlaid this on top of my planner cover, but then I realized in this particular planner, the cover already has a link built into it where it links to the index. So this might ac accidentally try to start picking up that link when I put links over top. But just for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and go with it. But it is best if you're gonna do this overlay method to place it over top of like an existing page that doesn't have a bunch of links on it. So I'm gonna click on my text tool. I'm gonna tap, I'm gonna go ahead and enlarge it and make my text size large so the box is pretty big. Put my spaces in. And I'm gonna test this to make it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna hit return, add some more text or spaces in and see how it goes. Just to make it pretty large so my clicking area isn't super tiny. I'm gonna click off of the keyboard, click back in on that text box Sometimes it's hard to find because it kind of turns invisible on you and GoodNotes is giving me a little bit of trouble today. So it's right here. I'm going to tap on it and I had to try that a couple times because it kept just glitching out on me. But I'm going to go ahead and click the extender, add link. And for this one, I'm going to have this go to a whole different planner, um, not the one I'm currently in, although you absolutely could just link it to the index page of your um, current planner but say I want to go ahead and I'm going to click on document and I'm just going to select one of my other planners that I have. I'm going to select this one. Um, I could go into my folders and just find one, but I'm going to use this one. Select and that one's in there. So I'm going to tap off of it, glitchy much, and I'm going to test it to make sure it works. So I'm going to tap on it and boom, it just opened up that other planner. Okay, so now I have that link working. Say I want this cookie to go to the, I don't know, a website like pillsbury.com. I don't know if that's the actual website or not, but let's just say it is. So I'm gonna, again, click on my text and I'm going to enlarge my box, enlarge my font, and just put a bunch of spaces. 
I'm going to put it over top of my cookie. And then I'm going to tap on it and, or tap off, sorry. Tap on it and click add link. This time we're going to go ahead and go to website. And for my link, I'm going to do Pillsbury. I don't know if this is actually like the website or not. www.pillsbury.com. I don't even know if I spelled Pillsbury right. It's been a very long day. So I'm going to go ahead and click this link and it says external link. Say yes. See if it actually takes me. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Pillsbury. Nope. <laughs> it's not the right website, but whatever, whatever. Um, as long as you have the right address in there, it'll work and it'll be fine. So there's for an external website, you can link these to like, if you have um, like memory keeping journals or specific journal days, I mean, the possibilities are just endless. So another idea is I've been using planner pages a lot, which is really just single PDFs um, that I import into GoodNotes, like as master copies, and then I duplicate them and I use them um, just on their own in different folders. So I could like take these flowers right here and link them to like say one of my cleaning templates. Um, that's not even a planner page or anything. Okay, so I'm gonna tap on text. I'm going to enlarge it, enlarge my font. And that just makes the box bigger. Do my spaces. And I'm gonna tap out to get this keyboard gone. Find it again, tap on it, there you are. And again, you might have to try a couple times to find it. Once you've tapped on it and bring up this menu, the extender, add link. So this time I'm actually going to go to click on the document. I'm going to find the template that I want it to link to the planner page. I believe I have it under the cleaning inserts. So I want this one to link to my weekly cleaning. And I just tap on it, hit select. And now my link is already built in there. So to test it, I'm just going to go tap and there's my weekly cleaning template. So there are really like just endless ways that you could use this to just customize. Um, you could do all your planning from just one single dashboard. Um, again, I do have this as a PDF as well. So let me go ahead and show you real fast how to use that. So once you're um, in your planner, if you want to add it as a PDF and either in front of any pages or behind any pages, just go to this plus icon and click import and then go to wherever the PDF is saved. Click on it, click open. And it's going to go ahead and import it into your planner. So here it is right behind this page. Another way that you can use it is just in your documents library, you can just import it directly from here. Let me get out of this particular folder. So you can just import it directly into GoodNotes just as a PDF, and then you can put it in whatever folder you want. You can duplicate it. You can just leave it right here so it's your dashboard and it's always open. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then it's just a loose single page and you can add all your links and do everything from there. So I'm going to go ahead and include um, these in my freebie library, both the PDF and the PNG. So you can use them and play around with them if you'd like. Um, just the link to join my freebie library will be in the comments and I'll just include them in their own folder. You'll also get access to all my free stickers that I've released every and I release new ones every month. Um, I'll just put these in their own folder because I may add more later because they were just so fun to create. So I hope you learned something today and I hope this helps you to be even more creative with your digital planning.